is she? She's like 12 weeks. Oh, that's the best age. Enjoy it while it lasts. Yesterday I went out for a few hours and I got home and she fucked up my bedroom. My shoes, my jumpers, my makeup, even my fucking bed. What did you do? Beat the bitch. You think I'll be having it on my asshole? Never. Are you out of your mind? Beating her's not going to solve anything. Look, Bill, I had the same problem myself and I sought help from a professional. Nowadays it's much easier. He's an absolute angel. You went to a professional? That's funny, obviously you have no control over your household, girl. What do you mean I don't have no control over my household? Just because I don't choose to be... Beat the bitch. Obviously you have no control. Help from a professional. Beat the bitch. <laughs> Stop being a baby. Don't be a pussy. Stand up for yourself. Go hit the back. severe injuries. Is there anything that you could think of that would possibly make her get to this condition? I, I didn't know what to do. Well, me and my team of surgeons, we tried for as long as we could, but unfortunately she didn't make it. I'm sorry. Would you like to say goodbye?
We were meant to start at 10.20. <coughs> so what time are we? We are 40, no, 20 minutes. What's your comment that's 20 minutes off your lunch? Yes. 25 minutes behind. 25 minutes behind, okay. I don't mind, we've got a sandwich. Alright, so basically the plan now... I'm making sure everybody knows everybody around the table. Who doesn't know anyone around the table? I'm Julie, Julie Disbury. I'm Kayla's assistant and I'm also sand operator. My name's Janika and I'm a camera operator. My name's Billy and I'm doing the lighting. I'm Lizzie, Mine. I'm the script continuity and other stuff. My name is Zoe and I am camera assistant. Forward slash editor here. Yeah. <laughs> Did she say forward slash editor? <laughs> <laughs> this is Amy. <laughs> My name is Kayla. Kayla Whiting. I'm the director of Hackney Hounds Last Bitch. I am god of this project. I'm really worried that yeah. it's not going to get done in time. Um, they're enjoying themselves a little bit too much and the responsibility needs to be taken by somebody to hold everybody together. And I think we're still waiting for that to happen. We've actually got funders and people that are expecting us to make a film at the end of this. And that's the scary thing about the whole thing, because if we don't make it in time, What's going to happen? Our Billy, our boy Billy, didn't turn up and isn't answering his phone. I mean, we could maybe try and find someone in the park or off the Star Now, which is where we found most of the other members of the cast. Michael Fatigan is on you, Billy. Cool. Hey! Okay. Would you not do when you're still around? Let's get rolling, man. <laughs> Behind. No, we was, but we've caught up. Well, tomorrow we've got Hackney Gazette coming down to the park to watch us filming in the park. We've got our calf scene in the morning, and then we have our park scene in the morning as well. We've got a busy day ahead of us, and I'm talking about tomorrow. None of this we've been doing today. No quick fag breaks because we're in the park, so you can smoke a fag while you're working. <laughs> This morning we started late because half of we everyone didn't show up. I mean all the actors were here, they were great and they done really well and was really happy with the shots. But now we're missing our lead lady and we can't continue filming because we don't have it here. It's just Julie and the dog uh, and Amy uh, that we really needed. Yeah. We're quitting for the day. Serious? Serious? Like that's a big. That's a I've got nothing else to do. Alright, right, don't worry, we'll pick it, we'll pick it up. <coughs> pick the rest up. Yeah, my own Mark, and my dog's names are Shiva and Nike. There's a god. Yeah. <laughs> and that is me. <laughs> <laughs> we got our dogs, we got our. Males, we're gonna do our scene. Hooray! Hey, right. I think we should do this one first. Do it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, Let's do this. Let's do this. The Hounds project was the idea of my administrator, Kayla. This project started with me being pissed off with the RSPCA, thinking that they took the piss with the animal care that they gave out and I just thought it wasn't fair because we don't actually have something like that in Hackney. When I was speaking to people about dogs, how they look after the dogs, they made it up, well, I don't know how to train them, this is how I learned it, so, and they think that's okay. People get dogs, they don't know how to handle them and then they end up abusing them which is going to make them turn aggressive and angry and we want to get people training and 
help them to understand the dog a little bit more. It started off being um, purely a documentary idea. Um, well, they uh, sort of decided that it was more of a drama. The message that I've inter interpreted from the play is the fact that with the two contradictions, it's kind of saying you wouldn't treat a dog how you treat your child, or, or vice versa, you wouldn't treat a child like a dog. So I think that's it's a good um, mix, and I think definitely the message will be shown through. I often find that talent comes from often places that you're not taught it. They didn't even have media studies in That's school true. when I was there. But like nowadays they do, but we didn't have the opportunity for that. So, I mean, media was just basically newspapers to me. That's what I thought media was. We are happy people. We do own these dogs, mm -hmm. but we're not irresponsible with our dogs. And we want to show people that it's not everyone's responsible. Don't, yeah. don't judge people. Don't be stereotypical and look at a young kid in the tracksuit who's got staff and think, oh my God, that's a dangerous dog, because it's not. But at times, I kind of wish I could take a step back because I feel like I don't want to be seen as some bossy bitch that just telling people what to do. Like, I want people to enjoy this project. That's the whole reason I love it was the fact that to get people to do something, like people who weren't doing anything, mm -hmm. so to have something to enjoy to come to and get something out of it at the end of it. Like, I had a load of fun. We've had fun. We've got it done. I think what would probably only say a couple of hours over. Yeah, I don't think it's gone that bad. I've gained some friends from it. I've got to learn a lot more about staffs myself. And before, before we started the project, it was mainly, we, everyone did think, yeah, it was young people that had staffs, but that project, we see so many, I've seen old women with staffs in the park and stuff. And we've all been like, oh my God, look. I do feel like, yeah, it's kind of opened everyone's eyes. So I feel like everyone's sort of, gained contacts from it as well. Like obviously before, when I used to do, like when I used to have to phone like hire, hire companies up and stuff like that, I used to feel a bit embarrassed and less confident. Yeah, now I phone them up and I tell them, well I want this bitch, so give it to me, like. <laughs> Everyone was that little bit shy in the beginning. But now, we jump on each other to, to answer that or yeah. to do or something. Or to sit on the chair. Yeah, you know what I mean? We're like, we're like best friends now. It's mad, like, you think we've known each other for years. But the funniest thing is, I mean, like, nearly every single girl here does not get on with girls. No. And we're oh. a girl crew. This is going to help my future a lot because I've missed quite a few tests and stuff and I think this will help me to fulfill my dream. Hey, what's your dream? I want to become an editor for like big time movies, not just short short movies like yeah. things that you're gonna go to the red carpet and watch and stuff. Yeah. I've enjoyed working with everyone on the team. I've met some fantastic people and yeah. You know this face here? Get used to it, yeah? You're gonna see it on the TV or not. <laughs> and cut! <laughs>